Uh, right, so... Interesting first turn. They get every single link active except for Saiyan Lineage, which is kind of crazy when you think about the fact that these guys are base form. So they don't have Super Saiyan, they don't have like any God links with God Goku. But we're still able to get <laughs> every link but one active here, which is nice. Get their 18 key super, you can do this. Alright, God Goku. Oh my god, really. Where's the good old classic Dokon meme? Dodge the normal, eat the super. This guy. <laughs> and of course he gets sealed, which then means he can't get any stacks. Bruh. Slot 1 units that, um, like, boss slot 1 bosses that super and can seal or stun are so obnoxious for, like, so many of these characters. I've said it before about Omega, when we've been doing stuff on the Omega event on Global. The fact that he'll very often super attack in slot 1 and he stuns or seals you, like, super annoying for units that you want to put in slot 1 and then they need to stack by supering. But it is what it is, I guess. I mean, at the end of the day, we need to take a bit of damage so we can actually get the Vegito fusion, so I'm not mad at it. It's just funny, as always. Dodge the first attack, which was a normal, and then eat the super. Future Gohan, of course, still one of the uh, better units on the team. I mean, one of the better units in the game. So. Oh, you know, I should have looked at the starting rotations because we're basically screwed now. Like, no one on this rotation is good in slot one, so it's just GG, probably straight away. Oh, never mind. Oh, well, they normals don't hit as hard as I, uh, as I thought. Unless I'm forgetting some kind of like defensive buff they get on turn one. Yeah. yeah, we did a giant eight power team last night. That video will be up today as well. Right, these guys going off. The more supers these guys get, obviously the more crazy their active skill can be if and when we decide to use it. But it's, it's always based on however many supers they did on the previous turn. It's like then how good their active skill will be, so. Alright. Now these guys are good in this phase, of course, because we have type advantage. Um, I think what we do then is we've got 580k. I think we do this just so we can start getting some stacks for you. And then yeah, we just do that. Oh god, they seal, don't they? Why? Slot 1 super, again, and seal. Oh boys, the uh, the Goku and Vegeta that get infinite stacks on their supers. And we got the 4 attack turn. That could have been 4 supers, for all we know. Nice, Gohan clutching it up with the dodges, that's what we like to see. And then, yeah, Goku will get his supers here. Yeah, that's what I was saying, right? Like, getting sealed in slot one immediately, brutal. 
uh, it was. When the key goes to 12, that means they're getting the supers and not normals. I think it does it for the first one though, right? And then does not chain? I can't remember. But yeah, that could literally have just been the four super turn, which is four more stacks, which would have been awesome. But instead, we get no stacks. <laughs> which is not awesome. No bueno. Oh my god, they're doing it again! These guys. Bruh. Future Gohan should live. Yep. This does put us in Vegito Fusion range as well, to be fair. And everybody else on the rotation tanks normals for double digits. So. Uh, every normal has to have been a... Every normal has would have been a super, otherwise it goes back up to the 18 plus key. Yeah, I'm not sure. I know it drops for, like, the additional super thing, but I'm not sure if it goes back or if it just stays there. Either way, sadly, we got no addition. We got no supers. Which is a shame, because, of course, all of those supers, you know, stacking the defense, but then Vegito himself gets the benefit of that as well. Because once we fuse, we keep all of that defense, right? So, look at these guys. 12 million on the additionals, 12 key now. That's crazy. These guys can still cook. Like, they're an absolute damage machine. Like, these harder bosses could definitely kill them. With the supers for sure, but... Alright, so... Fuse into the Geo. The scout, the super is immediately in slot one because, of course, it is. Um, he has six hundred and sixty-three k. He has what? Six? Is it sixty percent? No, he only has thirty percent damage reduction against uh, supers. Oh god. I mean, annoyingly, like I wouldn't want to float him off here, but realistically, what I should do for this rotation is this. Because if I do. The active skill with them, they're not going to have high enough super. Um, and then you only have 300k. So, I mean, if you get hit, you die. But you have, like, 70% chance to dodge and then basically full dodge in the hidden potential. Um, now, Vegito has 30% base damage reduction. But then he has 30% damage reduction from normals. So, that's 60% in total against normals. But it's only 30% against um, supers. And this Gogeta hits pretty hard. Like, pretty sure we don't live this. Because um, if he was doing, like, 2 mil, 30% is, like, what? 6 to 700k. So that drops it to, like, 1.4. Um, and then, so with that defense, that means he's doing, like, 800k. So we die. He does have guard as well. That is true. It's not 60% though, is it? Against, I thought it was 30% against... Um, I thought it was 30% uh, general and 30% against normals. Alright, well... I'll do it. I'll do it for you guys, for the culture. Um, can't really get a lot of in orbs with these guys, which is unfortunate. Been nice if that was another in orb at the top. All right, well, let's see. Oh yeah, two hundred and eighty-one k. That's like nothing. Crazy. Let me start getting some crit counters. Yeah, that's pretty good for uh, a slot one tanking from a guy that used to just get absolutely evaporated by um, super attacks. Yeah, I'll have to double check his passive. Uh, he has 60% when he has guard, even if it's a super. It could be. I mean, 
I'm guessing it probably is, if that's only how much he took, right? So... That's pretty, pretty good damage. Pretty good damage. And then, of course, the, uh... The Super Saiyans are, uh, gonna do a lot of damage here as well. Safety active for the tech phase. Do we want it for the tech phase? Surely I want it to get through the final phase as quickly as possible, because the tech phase, they've got type advantage. Although I suppose we could use it to then get their post-super buff, put them in slot one. That could be interesting. Gohan getting another stack. Come on, Gohan. Okay, well, it takes 100k if he gets hit. <laughs> Even with type advantage. <laughs> okay. Alright, so the super's there. Which means we know future Gohan will tank normals. I don't want to float off God Goku, though. This is the problem. There's always the problem with the Super Saiyans, right? Is that you want them... I mean, I guess I could do this... And then the active skill from future Gohan should kill. Because after you active skill with future Gohan, he gets that permanent buff for the rest of the fight. So... It does mean the Super Saiyans get kind of screwed though, because without getting any attacks off, they um, are not going to have... Uh, like next turn, if we wanted to use their active skill, then they have 30% for five turns, and they're on turn six, which means these guys were the ones on turn two. So they should still have their 30% damage reduction. I could probably get away with putting them in slot one then. It's a bit risky though, I don't know. tricky. Say future Gohan active for the last phase, yeah. So if I put God Goku in slot 1, in theory, he could dodge everything. Um, and then we just, then he gets another stack, but... Yeah, so they have 30% damage reduction for 5 turns. So... And future Gohan would tank it. Then the problem is, like, on this turn, future Gohan would be fine for slot one. But I don't want to float off God Goku, because then that kind of messes up the rotations for, um, like, the rest of it, right? So, damn. Alright, well, I think I'm just going to do this. Get you out of here. <laughs> Alright, where's the super? There. Okay. So if we do this. Transform you. Active skill with you. They got a decent amount of attacks on their previous turn. So yeah, 20 mil. You can still get the... Look at that. R Vegito can get one type orb and one rainbow orb and he still gets his 18 key super. That's crazy. Uh, now there's zero chance physical god Goku gets an easy A this year's same day. He literally came out last year. Um, for Saiyan day. So it's literally impossible. Um, Vegito could kill, but if he doesn't, the Super Saiyan trio just will. So, because you think about the the order of the Saiyan Day characters, right? Bardock doesn't have an easy A yet. Broly doesn't have an easy A yet. Margin Vegeta doesn't have an easy A yet. Um, so yeah, there's no way God Goku is getting an easy A for at least another year or more. Thirteen mil. Just remember that Vegito attack buffs the team with his 18 key super as well. 
So even if he didn't kill here with the counters, which he might do, the super attack from the Super Saiyan trio is going to hit so hard. <laughs> They're only going to get the one super, of course. But yeah, I don't think this kills. But how much is this going to do? Yeah, 13.9 with no support on the rotation, just thanks to the little bit of a buff from uh, Vegito's super attack effect. That's pretty funny. All right, well, see you later. Uh, yeah, so like I say, we unfortunately, this active skill is going to do like no damage. Oh, God, there's no orbs as well. I always hate it when the uh, the Godku slanderers get to be right about situations like this. Because, yeah, like, what am I supposed to do now? I can get the three orbs and hope that he gets the dodges. Um, that means I take away all the int orbs from these guys, so I might not even be able to get an 18 key super. Um, <laughs> like, what a terrible rotation this is. I'll do this and it'll do, like, no damage because they didn't attack at all last turn. But it gives them their post super stats. Which is 700k. Uh, they won't live a super, though. Gohan actually has a higher dodge chance. No, I did the uh, I did the Super Saiyan trio um, before we did the runs last night to make sure they had the uh, hidden potential. Um, I mean, yeah, technically, like I say, Gohan has higher dodge chance than um, than Godku, so. <sighs> See, I could do that to get the six orbs potentially, but then they don't get an 18 key super. Which means they don't get any defense. Plus, depending on how these orbs drop down, if I did this, I then might not even be able to get three orbs for God Goku. So I'm going to have to do this. And then this. Yeah, what an absolutely terrible turn. <laughs> Vegito did well, though, which was the whole point of the run. But... Come on, Gohan. you got to dodge the super, buddy. You can do it. He didn't do it. <sighs> 1.1 mil. Okay. Well, there we go. Um... Yeah, he didn't stack defense for that long, so he could have been better. Gohan, definitely not a fraud there. He didn't really get many supers during the, the event. Like, if we wanted to test him out specifically, we could have kept him on rotation, tried to get more supers. But, but yes, I mean, Vegito, super good in the event. But that seems to be the theme of the day for some of these videos that we're doing. Testing out units in this event, where the unit themselves does really well. But then the rest of the team, like, lets the run down. So... You guys let me know what you think uh, down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.